So okay. the second way is uh, there is now a program where the government comes in and they uh, buy the property along with you. So they say that they will be owning equity in your property. So oh, well, <laughs> that's a... Uh... That's a very socialistic kind of thing, but okay, cool. let's, 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 let's talk about it. I haven't heard about it before, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm exactly. intrigued. <laughs> so, the, so that's actually this new program that they, they uh, introduced. Uh, so the government comes in and they say, you know what, uh, you're paying 10%, we're going to pay another 10%. Uh -huh. So together we own 20% of this property. So we own 10% of this property forever. Uh -huh. So in future, let's say when you sell that property, you bought uh -huh. it for 500,000 and we are the 10% owner. So we put $50,000 into this. Right. And then when you sell it for $1 million, we also will take 10% of that million dollars. Got it. But, huh. we are not going to, but we are not going to charge you interest on our, in, on our equity. So you don't have to take the mortgage insurance. Uh -huh. So you don't have to take the mortgage default insurance. You're using right. our money as your equity to balance for that 20%. Okay, right? now tell me about the risks. Can the government kick my door out and say, get the hell out of here? Like what's... Uh... Uh, no, I mean, uh, the risks here are uh, that, again, if you um, default on your property, mm -hmm. uh, you don't pay it. And let's say your property value goes down. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be liable for the government's initial uh, amount of investment uh, oh. along, along with uh, that. Even if they're like the property value goes down, let's say 10%, means now you owe the government more than 10% because their 10% from the purchase price was a higher a net amount than what it is now. Right. You still owe the government. And if it goes up, they take the positive. If they, give, it give, goes down. Because uh, I, I don't know. I'm just a little tired maybe. But I want our listeners to understand that risk. So give me an example, real life example. Let's say I bought a property, used the government thingy. Uh, yeah. They pay, you know, let's say let's do 500,000 because that's the number that people in Canada can turn on to use. Yeah. Uh, let's say, okay, so the down payment is what, 100,000, right? Yeah. That's fair to say. Okay. And so, okay, I'll say, hey, government, Trudeau, Justin, you know, you pay 50,000. I'm just kidding. Just the government of Canada, right? You do this whole thing. Exactly. You do 50,000, I do 50,000. Boom. Then coronavirus hits. Everyone, you know, it's, it's economically, it's even worse than we expected. And the property is now freaking 400,000, right? And you, yeah. and you sold it for 400,000. What, yeah. What's happening now? You still owe the government $50,000 uh, that mm -hmm. they initially invested. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, but if let's say the property goes to one million, now you owe the government hundred thousand. Right. So that was that's the that's the uh, that's the outcome here. See, if mm -hmm. the, if it's going down, they still want their investment covered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it goes up, they want to piece off the pie. You know? Right. 